Yeah, where the fuck is the computer for turning off that turret? It's... Oh, wait a minute. I know he's here somewhere. I think I might remember where it is. It might be... Um, over there somewhere. Um... I cannot notice me. He isn't looking this way. That's the big guy I was thinking of. I know there was a a room. Like you have to hack the, the keypad and this guy patrols has a quick patrol pattern. This guy's just getting a lamp in. There's definitely something strange going on here. No, look. It's definitely something strange. <laughs> the computer terminal, I thought it was behind here, but. Shit, it's not. I should be safe. Yeah, it's there. There it is. That's it right there. Notice me. Hello. If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Yeah, this is the turret access. Not a random place to put a turret but computer. Right, now the turret's gone. We can make these bastards disappear. I'm pretty sure we can knock these guys out quite easily. This guy can be knocked out when it's here. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Sounds like you're chasing after ghosts again. Should be fine there. Nobody should notice his body. They're gonna notice that guy who keeps talking. He's suddenly just become quiet. Nah, of course they're not. Good. Better keep looking. I 
could probably knock that guy out when he gets here as well, because this dude up here doesn't seem to notice anything. Even though he's elevated, um, the desks kind of hide everything, so... Let's do that. This guy's just going to get a shock in. Oh, you bastard. I missed him. There's definitely something strange going on here. over here facing the wall just in case sweet all this shit now I can just go back to looting I've been interrupted by these assholes they say they're supposed to be abandoned like they must have like, these guys must have messed up all the desks or something, because... Unless this is their workspace, this is their, they say it was a shithole. And you get a lot of stun darts around here. In fact, there's probably more in this level than I've seen for the whole fucking game. Oh. Oh no, someone took the draw. Bastard. Login password for yeah. Don't need to worry about that. Access granted. I'm just point of views and power. Right. Is that it? Deceptive how many bloody computers there are in this area. It reminds me of um, of the doors in Detroit where you, you can miss one obvious because you didn't go to a specific point. Access grant. That's it. Oh, he had he had a silencer in his drawer. That doesn't that doesn't seem suspicious. I think I didn't see this one here. And nuke. Nuke. Access grant. Oh, I think that's it. Quite shocked that I actually managed to knock all these out. I normally mess up somewhere along along the lines, but I think it's because I've done it so many bloody times. Yeah, so I was trying to think, would it have been easier to come through this way? I mean, there's there's literally no computers up here. I mean, it would be nice if the the computer here controlled the turret and you could turn it on. Scholar there missed that. But yeah, like. If you do start up here, 
it's it's not I mean you could just like jump down and get to the turret there yeah it, very odd Can't pick that up. so yeah hacking this without this guy spotting you is so bloody hard I mean it's possible I mean, I wouldn't waste um, an auto hack on it. Uh, not at all. Say so it's level one. Access yeah, or you could just do this. This is the. It's better to go through the wall than it is to go down the stairs. Um, purely because. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D. Ghost. You're close to the funicular. Any chance it's sitting there waiting for me? Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. It's always best to get those two when they're talking so they don't go on patrol. Uh, plus, you drops the code for the dispatch room, which is nice. Yeah, so the vernicular, I, I remember I spoke about it um, a couple of videos ago about where you have to summon a lift and then wait. And you can use vendor machines to block enemies from getting in, which is always quite funny. Wasn't oh, this the place with the mines? No. One of these stairways has mines on it. Yeah, these vendor machines, they would come in very handy. Yeah, so the funicular is basically, you press a button and then it starts shitting at enemies. And then you have to like, like, either hide from them. You can hack computers and set up turrets and stuff. So the turrets gun everyone down. But if you're doing a, um, Eva doll, that's disgusting. Yeah, if you're doing a, a non-killing run, it's not going to work. I mean, having the cloak makes it quite trivial, but if you're going for like a no powers run, which is, it's fun, but it's very, it's it's much more difficult because you can't rely on anything like, smack you through walls. Like, I, I might do a no power run next actually. I ain't done one of them for a long time. I don't find it as enjoyable. Um, not having like powers. It's not about how easy it makes the game to me. It's more about how fun it makes the game. If I'm like having to constantly reload because I get caught and that and me just having a specific gun or um, a specific skill would make me less caught, then I'm just like, why, why would I not? You know, I don't need that big bastard gun anyway. I remember he, um, when um, I th think the only game I really enjoyed doing in a non-powers room was probably Dishonored, having no upgrades. That uh, makes the game really fun. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it in stealthy. I wouldn't play this game like uh, I mean you could, but for recording purposes, I would have to reload a lot of times. Yeah, more times than I'm doing now. Uh, this is probably the easier way to come in through this way. Yeah. So you can you put your vendor machines in this doorway. Yeah, you need to. That computer controls the cameras and the turrets. Nearing 
source of disturbance. Let me guess, there's nothing there. Oh, this guy actually came all this way. Dumbass. You just made my job a lot. I'm hell of a lot easier. Oh man, that's like force him to do the splits unconscious. He's gonna wake up with a probably testicular torsion. Oh, well, better him than me. I'll find you, you little shit. Yes. In fact, I could probably get this. Um, turn that off. Disable that, and I'm gone. Nice. No, I don't know if they were about the camera or the turret, because I turned them off. This is the funicular. It's a big fucking lift. Or an elevator. Yeah, you press a button and then you and it's basically just the time and then you have to wait. I mean it's not it's not a difficult section, it's just if you don't know it's coming. You know, you just walk in and press a button and it's like, oh hey, her shit tons of enemies. You know, it's um Yeah, so you need to turn this on its side, if I remember correctly. This is just what I used to do all the time, just because it was funny. Because you can't get it in the doorway, can you? No. So you need to flip it on its side. There you go. Yeah, funny enough, enemies can't, um, they can't climb. So they'll just like, hmm, I can kind of get through that area. the door okay let's disable this just in case the last thing you need is to set all this up and then some bastard goes and triggers a bloody alarm come on what's that a level five it's random i didn't even set off an alarm nice access granted there we go. So. There's plenty of rooms, ladders, and shit. Uh, I don't think enemies spawn in here. I don't even know why this room's here. It's weird. Um, so, so normally your best bet is to, is to stay hidden under here where I put those two dudes. Or in the vents. This one needs behind the vending machine where we just were. Enemies can't get in vents, so. You know, that's their fault. I think, I think that's it. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, so oh, I thought that might open the bloody door. Right, put that there then. I think we're sorted now. I'll do a quick save, and then we'll press the button, and then we'll just wait and see what happens. Should be interesting. All these mines you can sit down. Like, I want. I can't take the. I can't take the grenade without taking the fucking the ammo. Uh Yeah, 
Uh, let's just chuck them on the floor. No. There we go. Okay. We should be set now. I mean, like, if he wasn't, um, if he wasn't caring about, like, being seen, no. I would have probably put the turret maybe up here. So it's higher. Otherwise, it would just, like, be hitting these, uh, these chairs, which you don't really want. So now we press the button and then we hide. So, let's save here.